Hello viewers, here is yet another Sony CFS-B11 radio cassette recorder. I have several of these now. This is kind of one of those things that I get whenever I see as long as the price is good because it's a very good quality and very versatile piece of equipment. So, let's see if this has a date of manufacture on it. This one is inherently refurbished and also made in China 10 watts this one also mentions the 9 volt flashlight battery I really don't know what they're talking about with that because I don't know how you would connect it this does take 6 D batteries. There's the serial numbers. I don't know if that has a date code hidden in there somewhere. Perhaps somebody can decode that for me. This one is in pretty good condition. It's a little bit dusty and it's got some marks on the top, but not bad. So let's go ahead and test it out. This has the connection on the side, which I think is kind of nice because now you can put it, well, not this wall, but you can put it flush up against a wall and the cord would come out the side and not be an issue. Okay, so it's plugged in now. That's going to have to get tightened because it's not standing up by itself. So let's test the tape player first. And it would sound like the belt is spoiled. That's not too surprising. I think of all these that I have, the belts are spoiled in every single one. And that was not in the frame. Oh, lovely. Well, we can still, excuse me, we can still test the radio. Start with AM. Then we should turn around and erase it. Alright, so that's that's capturing a few stations. That seems to, to be uh, receiving audio just fine across the whole spectrum. Let's listen to the sound quality. The infamous tone control. It doesn't have the best bass response, but for something of this size, I think it sounds quite good. So this looks to be in good working order, sans the tape player. Well, that probably can be easily fixed by changing out the belts.